Hello everybody, this is Go Against the Tide TV uh, from America. We are of Polish television, but we have a special uh, guest uh, tomorrow, uh, and Congressman Thomas Massey uh, from Kentucky. It's a pleasure and honor to have you in our Polish television. Well, it's an honor to have you here in the United States. <laughs> I'm here, uh, of course, with Pastor Paweł Chujewski, and um, I have a question because you uh, said that uh, you uh, came into politics after being engineering. Mm -hmm. uh, but why? What is the cause of this, you know, going into politics? Well, uh, you know, a lot of politicians are lawyers. But I heard from an engineer once that we need more engineers in politics and in government because lawyers are trained to take a position and then go search for facts that only support their position. Whereas engineers are trained to collect all of the facts and then and only then come up with a position or an answer that fits those facts. So the lawyers have it backwards and the engineers have it right. So we need more engineers in government. <laughs> <laughs> I will think about it because I am an engineer too. <laughs> Good, thank you. <laughs> and uh, during your speech on John Bear Society anniversary, you uh, showed uh, um, card for, for voting. Yes, I got it right here. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and you said that it's non not belong to you, but to right. whom? So that's right. I use this card on the floor of the House of Representatives. I put it in a machine and I register yay or nay or present. Uh, but this is not my card. It, it may have my picture on it, but this card is not mine. This card belongs to 750,000 Americans. That is the size of a congressional district. That's how many people I represent. So they are loaning me this card two years at a time because our elections are every two years, and they trust me to make judgments for them, but ultimately this is their card, and they can take it back. <laughs> Amazing. You would like to have such politicians in Poland, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we've heard that uh, you, um, you were talking uh, with President Donald Trump, and you, you met him, and uh, mm, for uh, our Polish uh, people, it's very uh, important uh, to pass the message to President Donald Trump that we really uh, love him in Poland. Because uh, when we, uh, mm, we came uh, to the situation that he won, not Hillary Clinton, it was, you know, uh, I don't know how great to say great joy, it. joy, <laughs> yeah. a celebration in yeah. our studio too. Because we thought that we will lost our uh, country because you are the light for the free world. And uh, could you pass uh, to the president uh, Trump that he will, you know, do uh, and make America great again? And uh, through this, he will make Poland great again. You know, um, that's an interesting point, and I will pass it to him because the American media try to portray our president as unpopular in other countries. Oh. But for instance, I went to India um, last year, last October, and in India, they love President Trump. Uh, they have many of the same challenges with radical is Islamic uh, groups in India. They have the same uh, problem with uh, communist China. They have uh, many of the same challenges that the United States faces, other countries face, and these are challenges that President Trump is taking head on. And so what I found uh, when I traveled to India, I'm glad to hear is the same in Poland, that our president is actually uh, popular in other countries yeah. as well. You know, uh, there was a research in the European Union countries, and uh, mm, there was the first place for Poland because Polish people, 80% of Polish people are uh, have uh, positive um, attitude. attitude toward America and we are on the first pl place in the European Union. So in the, the last question, we've heard that you, uh, you are an independent congressman and it's not an um, easy way to do politics. Mm. And how, can, um, how could you uh, manage to, you know, with all these critics around, and are you able to do the politics? Uh, it's very difficult. In the United States, we pretend there are only two points of view, 
Republican and Democrat. In other countries, I'm, I imagine in Poland there are probably more than two parties. Maybe there's only one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> we, we joke about the same in the United States. There's uh, Washington, D.C., and then there's the people. And so uh, it is tough within your party to be independent uh, because they want 100% compliance. Mm -hmm. I vote with my party 75% of the time. This statistic is on the Internet. Mm -hmm. And that makes me the least faithful and so they call me Mr. No, but I only vote no 25% of the time, yet to them that's uh, not tolerable. But uh, you can, <laughs> the people that work for me in Kentucky, they, they thank me for taking my beatings in Washington, D.C., because otherwise they would be taking the beatings in Kentucky. <laughs> like, you are going to take a beating somewhere and so uh, you can either take your beating in, in Washington yeah. or you can take it uh, when you go back to see the people you represent, the ones who have loaned you yeah. the voting card. And so I prefer to take my beatings in Washington, D.C. so I can be popular uh, back home, not just to, for popular sake, mm -hmm. but to be appreciated for doing the job they sent me to do. But, but you are faithful to American Constitution, yeah. 99. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 99 percent. Yes, uh, that's. Uh, I don't know what the one percent is on the score. <laughs> We're going to go look that one up. Uh, but I have I have uh, three tests before I will vote for a bill. Number one, is it faithful to the Constitution? Number two, can we afford it? There's a lot of nice stuff we would like to do that may be constitutional, yet we cannot afford it. Mm -hmm. uh, and number three, is this really the role of the federal government? or should the states or the counties or the cities or the families be solving this problem? Now I also have a fourth uh, test sometimes I have to apply. If it's a 2,000 page bill and it's this thick yeah. and they want me to vote on it eight hours after showing it to me, mm -hmm. sometimes I have to vote no because I can't, I'm not able to answer those three questions I'm not given time. Congressman, um, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, it's a pleasure to hear you, to listen to you, and to meet you. Uh, it will be uh, an honor for our viewers to have you uh, in Poland, and we will invite you to Poland. I would love to come to Poland, especially I hear you have some very good engineers. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you so much. It was it was Go Against the Tide TV studio from America, from John Birch Society anniversary. Goodbye. Do zobaczenia. <laughs>